Right, everyone, Pass here. Um, I'm a software engineer based in London. Um, today, I thought I should make a video about my everyday carry for 2024. Um, I've seen a lot of these videos on YouTube. I've always enjoyed watching them, so I figured why not make my own one. Um, so here is my EDC, as they like to say. So, um, first item is actually not viewable because it's the one powering this very video. It's my phone. Um, it's an iPhone 12, 64 gigabytes. It's in black and it has a very nice uh, carbon fiber case by Pataka. Um, I will link everything in the description and I'll also leave timestamps, I guess, if it's really necessary. Um, if I was going to upgrade, it would probably be USB-C, but honestly, it's not really the end of the world. It's a phone. I pretty much use my Mac for everything else. So Next up, we have my wallet. Um, so this is a Trove wallet. It is in the black leather uh, edition. Um, I've had this for, you know, about three years. It's been serving me pretty well. Um, and I've always wanted to just look for like a minimal wallet. And I thought this was pretty perfect for what I needed. Um, I really like how it just has this little elastic, uh, I guess, band. Um, hopefully I'm not leaking any information. Um, but either way, I think that this is probably a very good choice for someone that just likes old cards and some cash. Um, highly recommend. So next up we have my watch of choice, my daily watch. So this is my G-Shock uh, GAB2100. Um, also, I can't really see what my camera is looking. So if I did this and it doesn't work, I'm going to be really annoyed at myself, but hopefully it did. Um, by the way, I've had this watch for about two years, almost two years, um, and I absolutely love it. I mean, I have been wearing this nonstop ever since I bought it. I mean, I do rotate occasionally, uh, from my watch collection, which I've written a blog post about. So if you want to take a look, I uh, have a Seiko, I have some Casios, um, but I'll leave it in the description if you want to check out all of my other watches. Um, but either way, this is not the stock uh, band. This is actually a band I bought from AliExpress for like three quid. And it's supposed to uh, resemble the Apple Watch Ultra one, which has like the G hook. Uh, I think it's called the Alpine Loop. Um, I absolutely love it. I think that it just, you know, fits really nicely. Um, it is a bit loose, but you know, for free quit, I can't really complain and it makes the watch feel very nice because uh, I can just like sit it down and it's all flat. I don't know, it looks really cool. Um, but yeah, either way, absolutely love this watch. It also got solar charging, so it pretty much will never die. Um, and you know, we got sun in the UK now, so that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, this is the G-Shock and highly recommend. So I tend to read quite a bit and uh, one of the investments I made quite a few years back was to invest in a Kindle and um, honestly I think buying a Kindle was one of the best pieces of tech I bought because I read a bunch of books that have completely changed the way my life works. Uh, for example, Anything You Want by Derek Sivers. Um, there's also Shoe Dog that I liked a lot. I mean, those are the first ones that I read and so they sort of set the foundation, but nowadays I tend to uh, steer away from the whole self-help side of books. I wrote, I wrote like a little blog post about it as well, um, but I think in general, um, I tend to steer towards more whole like biography side of things or just like essays or things that I feel like would actually change the way I view the world. I've been recommended to read Talib. Um, so yeah, I've been going through it um, full by randomness recently. So either way, this Kindle is the Kindle Paperwhite. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's an e-reader. I can't really explain anything more about it. It's quite standard. Everyone knows what e-reader is at this point, but I could like hold thousands of books um, in just this little tiny little uh, tablet. So it's quite nice. If you're wondering what book I'm reading at the moment, it's Vagabonding by Rolf Potts. Um, I was recommended it by a, uh, by someone called Jack Rains in a podcast episode because he's done the whole traveling thing of, you know, hostel hopping. So I'm trying to get into that at some point. Um, because you know you should do it when you're young i'm 20 right now so hopefully i could do it before i'm 27 because you know before 27 that's when all of the deals are um, and it's also a sort of the norm for hostel hopping I highly recommend getting a kindle but i say that I, I say i love my kindle but i do really like paper books uh, because i don't know there's something about some paper books i really like for example um there's the 1984 uh, i really like these collins classics books because they're just so like tiny, you know, they're so compact and they just feel quite nice to read on. So if there's like, you know, classic books, then I'll probably get in paper because they're quite cheap as well. Like this, I think it was like three quid. Um, so yeah, 
that's that's my sort of philosophy on books and also audible i tend to uh, list audiobooks um that are like biographies and one of read read by the actual authors um i really wish arnold's one was read by him but you know it's all good but yeah uh finally on the tech side of things uh i want to share my headphones so these are the wh1000 xm4s absolute worst names um notorious for having the worst names i guess and i mean these are really good headphones they're noise cancelling i've had these for over two years as well and i think that i think that they're a very worthwhile investment i got these expense that work but if you could try and get them expense that work or just like even if you have to pay out of pocket obviously um it is still very worthy because since the new model came out i think it's dropped down in price quite a bit so if you could try and get these for like maybe just over 200 or something i don't know how much it costs right now but um it's it's very worthwhile it's very it's a great product it's been working very well ever since the boy i've been it still works the same so i can't really explain anything expect anything uh, better um and also i do have airpods obviously because i use an iphone but you know you, know, you could use an android device as well um and they're great i've had these for like forever um and they all start to die on me in terms of battery but i haven't really bothered to upgrade into you know the pros or whatever because i already got headphones and you know they are they're completely different in terms of side size because it's like you know you can't really make a comparison here but um this is more convenient but i do prefer having headphones it's just a different experience for me um, especially on the tube because it's quite loud um so yeah i think that um headphones wise i'm starting to lean more into the big bulky headphones so we have my sunglasses now um so i got these ray-bans um these are the folding wafers I was inspired to get these by Casey Neistat because I think he looks sick in them. Um, and yeah, sorry, I don't know if you can see it in the frame, sorry. Um, but yeah, it is quite a cool little thing because, you know, every time I get out, people are like, oh my God, it folds, is it a real Ray-Ban? Yes, there's a real Ray-Ban. Um, and yeah, I think it looked pretty sick in them. I mean, I don't know, what do you think? Um, they are great, especially when it's summer. I mean, it's, it's sunny right now, but uh, the sun's gonna go down in a couple hours, let's be real. Um, but yeah, these are my preferred choice. They are absolute classic. Um, I've seen these being worn in the Blues Brothers um, and a bunch of other uh, films back in back in the day. Um, so yeah, Ray-Ban folding wafers, absolute solid piece. I also wanted to share a sort of um, thing I've been doing more recently is uh, leaving a notebook by my bed so that um, I can write anything down, any thoughts. So I have this little uh Leuchten 1917 I, I got it for like a massive discount as a random uh, i think it was a charity shop um and basically i if you have any ideas which i tend to have ideas at night or anything automatic like on autopilot like brushing teeth or taking a shower or something um so i was like oh you know if i have ideas i can't really jot them down on my phone because i leave my phone on my desk i also wrote about that i'm not trying to show anything but um just want to share um and I think that uh, having a notebook, um, also I have like a flashlight so I could actually see what I'm writing. I might get like a pen that, you know, has a light. Um, but it's really useful to just write anything down because I tend to forget them. Um, but if it's really important, I might remember in the morning, but that that's very rare. Um, and I'm also using this pen, this uh, Sharpie gel pen, which is pretty nice. Finally, I want to get some sort of uh, consumables, I guess. Um, so. First of all, I have my lip balm. This is this the Burt's Bees, the classic one. I took off the wrapping because I think this all yellow look is quite sick. Um, but yeah, you know, so lip balm, what else do I need to say? Um, and then finally, I have my perfume collection. So, well not perfume collection, but my daily perfume. Uh, the, the daily fragrance that I wear is this Dior Homme Intense. Uh, it's EDP, so um, I mean, it doesn't last that long i mean they reformulated it um but i think it's still pretty solid especially for this type of weather it's quite cold um so it, it lasts pretty well i mean it's not too cloying or anything like that um but every time there's like a you know special occasion or something i do up it with wearing the uh, parfum edition um apparently it's supposed to be a beast but i think they reformulated this one as well so it's not quite as much of a, a beast in terms of performance 
doesn't stay on me as long, uh, but it is very nice, it's very strong. And every time I put it on, it's just amazing. Just as amazing as every time I wear it. Uh, and I also have this, you know, I never heard of this brand before, so I got this as a birthday gift, um, which is from Min New York. It is a, it is the Voodoo Edition. This is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love this one because I didn't even know about it. It is quite pricey, but um, it just smells amazing. It's like a oud scent um, with like, you know, it smells very fresh as well. It's very nice. Um, and it's quite like sort of a fragrance that blasts, uh, it projects pretty well, so. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it with the everyday carry. I mean, I do have a backpack as well, but it's just a Herschel backpack, so I didn't want to share it because these are the things that, you know, would be on my pockets or something. So I felt that made more sense in terms of everyday carry. <clears throat> but yeah, um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any items similar to any of these I've uh, I've shared. If there's anything you want to know about any of these products, you know, leave a comment. Um, feel free to leave a like, leave a dislike, you know, whatever. Actually, don't leave a dislike. Just, you know, just message it to me, whatever your thoughts are. Um, but yeah, follow me on Twitter and uh, I guess I'll see you again next time, hopefully. I do want to make a video about my keyboard, the HHKB. I've had this for over three months now, so I think it's time I give a little review about it because it is, it is quite interesting. You might want to um, know more about it, I guess. But yeah, um, I guess uh, take care and have a great day. Peace. I don't know why I said peace. I guess safe. All right, bye-bye.